This is all one sentence. <laughs> Halloween 2011, Boston. So, because I'd just been fired from a job I never wanted, and because I'd just come to the realization that everyone in America, from baristas to CEOs, from groundskeepers to lawyers, is one bum stroke away from total material upheaval and all its subsequent blows to the self, and that everyone, no matter how much money they make, is always walking around quietly quelling the hum of the belief that they will die alone and penniless in some lukewarm, miasmic gutter in an unfamiliar city, and because I'd woken up again sweating bourbon into unwashed sheets in my 10 foot by 10 foot occupation in a house rented to me dirt cheap by an entrepreneurial acquaintance out of pity slash patronage after driving back to Boston ill-advisedly from Ralph's Rock Diner in Worcester where poetry happens on Monday and where this Monday, uncostumed on Halloween for the first time in my life, I called Lewis from the toilet and told him about my be firing and about my general failure as an adult and as an organism and my sudden stomach ache and desire to die because I'd always found calling those you wished would love you at the nadir of performative despondency produced a result, even if I'd never examined those results' favorableness before going on stage beneath a menagerie of taxidermied ungulate faces and reading a poem that changed the air in the room, made the young tatted up straight edgers and the scotch pickled English leather fogies halt their chit chat and stare, literally stare at me with jaws agape that made my buddy Alex take my arm oracularly and say after two beers, you know that poem is important, right? And after four beers, grab my shoulders and kiss me full on the mouth. And since Darka, the French poet, had been assuring me if I came to France in January, I could count on safe sofas to sleep on and all the pain of chocolat I could eat. And since I, <laughs> and since even though it wasn't a real job or even a character with a place card in the society scape of the 21st century, I had never seen myself as or wanted to be anything other than a poet, I thought, fuck it, took my last 750 bucks and bought myself a ticket.